what's up guys back in the kitchen this month I know a lot of you struggle with um, time and difficulty so what we're doing to this month is something super easy you're basically just putting it together it's not too much cooking but it's more just a, a meal idea that might be a little different and it's rice cake chicken nachos so the only thing you're gonna have to worry about cooking is gonna be the chicken and if you didn't want to do that you could just buy shredded chicken out of the can for this particular recipe or you could grill bake whatever I'm going the baking route so I'm going to put foil down on a pan uh, I've already put my foil down on a pan over here, got some olive oil on it, and I'm going to put my chicken breast in, and I will be baking this at 425 for 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the thickness, and uh, that's the kind of chicken I'm going to use, but you could use shredded chicken if you're just really short on time and, and aren't ready to cook, or you can buy the pre-cooked chicken from the store if you want uh, for maybe their deli section, all right? So we'll go ahead and get that on and we will get these things together. All right, so now we got our chicken done, had it seasoned nice here, use the Montreal steak seasoning. Actually, it's uh, one of my favorites, really good. Um, all we gotta do is assemble these things. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start off, I've got some uh, white cheddar rice cakes, white cheddar rice cakes here. We're gonna go ahead and put them down. We go there, we're gonna start with refried beans. So I got some refried beans right here. Super excited about my fancy new can opener. I'm tired of using my hands, so got here. Just don't even have to do anything. So we're gonna go ahead and put some refried beans, spread them on here. You can put as much or as little bit on these kind of things as you want. Um, this kind of depends on what you like, what you don't like. Up to you. A little refried beans here. From there, we're gonna go into some salsa, house salsa here. Put this on here like, like that. Spread it all around. We got a little bit of red onion. You can always do you know, onion and things like that. It's always the taste, so if you don't love red onion, you know, I cut it up pretty small because I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but Pretty good. From there, we got some fresh tomatoes. We'll go ahead and chop these up a little bit more here. Put them on top there. Again, as much or a little bit as you want. And then from there, cheese. You can use Mexican cheese, cheddar cheese. I got some Colby Jack cheese here. I really like this combo. Super easy, super simple. You know, this is something that, you know, if you're in a rush or you just wanna have ready when you get home or sometime when you have a little bit of time, these, these ingredients are basically all ready to go. Uh, jalapeno pepper, depending on how spicy you like it. If you like spicy, you can use it. If you don't like spicy, you don't use it. If you know, the seeds are usually some of the spiciest part. So um, if you want it super spicy, keep them. If you don't, Make sure they're not in there. This kind of depends on you. Again, whoever's eating. I'm only gonna put jalapenos on one of these just in case they're super hot. Trigger the trade if you cut jalapenos, don't touch your eyes. There you go. And have our nice piece of chicken here. Try to cut it up here, chop it up a little bit. My small little chunks. You can see really with this, you can put as much or as little of everything on here as you want. This is kind of like a, it's more an idea for a meal, not necessarily a cooking video, but just kind of a different way to put it together. I've never seen anyone call, um, I've never seen anyone call these nachos before using rice cake. So uh, maybe you've never tried anything like this before and hopefully you enjoy it. Feel free to add or take away any of the ingredients, use more or less, it's totally up to you. There you go. Last thing I got here is a nice, I hope, a nice avocado. It feels good, but again, you never know. And if you don't like spicy, this was used to cut jalapenos, so you might uh, use a different one. If you don't love spicy. Good thing for me, I like spicy, and this one looks Pretty good here. So I'm gonna have these big pieces so it'll fall off. Grab the spoon. Here. 
And there you have it. Chicken nachos on a rice cake. You can do as much or as little as you can. Let's see here, let's try and get a bite with everything. See how this thing goes. That's really good. That's surprisingly really good. I don't know why it's surprising, but. Give these a try, especially if you're short on time. You got all the ingredients. Just take it and put it together. See you guys next time.